Hello friends, in this video, I'm going to show you how to design parametric organic stadium in SketchUp. So let's get started. So for the first step, let's create a 12 sided polygon. The size will be 12 and now click on this origin. And let's type 200 feet for the inner radius, I mean inscribe radius. Now select this polygon and use the array command and click on this origin and let's rotate this mid y align with the yz okay now select this surface and delete it now right click on this curve and choose explode and let's delete all the other edges except one which is aligned with the yz now select this and go to edit and choose make component and give it a name any name you want and click on create now select this and let's create an array from this. Use the array tool and click on this origin and click on this point. Press control and click on this other end point and drive 11 x enter. And now get into one of this component and let's use the vertex tool and select to this two vertex and press control key and it's still in the z direction and type 155 feet. Now let's divide this face into multiple phases. So select this edge and use the move command and press control key and place it right here and type 7 divided. And now select this edge and use the move command again and let's press control key and place it right here and type 3 divided. And now get into this component again and let's use the virus tool. And I want to move this vertex up to this midpoint and this vertex to this midpoint. And I want to do the same to these vertex. You can measure the distance if you want to. Now select this one and press control. Select this one and move it to the left about 17 feet, 3 1 by 16 inch. Okay, now you have to be careful. Your soft selection radius must be 0. Now select this vertex, press control key and select this one. And move it to the right about same distance. Okay, now you have to do the same to this lower edges. And now select this two vertex and this full vertex at the mid section. And now select this full and select this two vertex. Now click on this scale handle and scale it down. Uh, you can type the scale feather if you want to. Let's type 0 0.3 or 0 0.26. Okay, I don't want this vertex to be very close. So let's scale it up to the over direction. And let's do the same to this vertex. You can type a unit. Okay, now we need to select this edge and delete it. Let's do the same at this session. Now let's use the vertex tool again and select this two vertex at the top and this two and this two at the bottom and this two and let's scale it down and type the scale factor 0 0.83 okay now select this vertex and this vertex and this one and this one and scale it down Okay, let's type about 0 0.63 and enter and select all the vertex on this row and move it in the Z direction about 11 feet. And now select all these vertex and let's move it in the Z direction again about 22 feet 5 inch. Okay, and select all these vertex at the bottom. And move it in the z direction about 31 feet and 10 inch. Okay, if you're not satisfied with the result, you can adjust all these vertex the way you want. And now let's select all the vertex at the top row. Okay, we need to move this all in the y direction about 32 feet. And now select all the vertex at the top two row. And again, let's move this in the y direction, about 10 feet. Okay, for the last time, select all these top vertex and move it in the y direction, about 40 feet. And 
and now get into this component and use the vertex tool again and select all the vertex at the top two row and move it in the downward direction about 18 feet And now select these two vertex at the top and move it in the downward direction. Uh, we need to make this horizontal with the previous vertex. So I'm not going to give you the exit distance. You need to adjust it. And let's use the vertex tool again. And select all these full vertex. And scale it down up to 0 0.6 unit. Okay, now let's use the slide tool. And let's slide all these faces by double clicking on it. And right click and choose make component and give it a name. And get into this component again. And slide this edge and this edge. And let's move it in the Z direction about 20 feet. And now let's use the vertex tool again and slur this vertex at the mid section and move it in the wind direction to the hour and type 17 feet and you have to be careful your soft selection must be zero and slur this two vertex again and move it in the z direction you can type any amount or high you want uh, you need to adjust this height and now let's get into this component again Okay, we need to see this in the top view. Now we need to adjust some vertex. So let's use the uh, vertex command. And slur these vertex. And let's scale it to the hour direction. Okay, now we need to adjust all these vertex again. Because I want all the faces uh, to incline to the inward direction. So take your time to do it. And now I'm going to do this component. And slur this and open the sub effect to see the result. Okay, look like we need to adjust all mirror vertex. So turn it off and get into this component again. Use the vertex tool and select this two vertex and let's get it down to the inside. And select this two vertex and move it to the outward direction. Okay, now you can adjust all the other vertex the way you want. It's up to you. Okay, I have done with the adjusting of all control vertex. Now I'm getting to one of this component and select this one and click on to get subdivision on off. If all the edges are not smooth enough, you can increase smoothness by clicking on this screen button or click on this tool. And here you can increase the number of intrusion as you like and you have to click on smooth on boundary corner okay now close this tunnel box and get into one of this component again and select all these edges and go to edit and choose copy okay let's get out of the component and let's hide all these components first and let's go to the edit menu and choose space in place now select all these cup and let's go to the edit menu and choose make component and you can give any name you want and now let's click on create and get into this component again now let's use a line tool to draw a line at this top edge from this point to this point and now let's erase some unnecessary edges, I mean curve. Okay, now delete this line too. And still have all these curves again. And now let's use the Gavilog command.
Okay, now you can choose any supply method, any segment you want. It is up to you. And now click on the empty space. Okay, now let's apply some material on it. Okay, now select this and press Ctrl X to get it and get into one of this component and choose space. Again, get into one of this component and let's select these boundary edges. And go to edit menu and choose copy. Let's uh, get out of the component and choose space in place. Okay, now let's get into one of the adjacent component and select these edges again. And choose copy. And let's hide this one and choose space in place and hide this one too. And let's use the line tool again. And let's draw a line from this endpoint to this point. And let's erase the unnecessary edges. And erase this line too. Now select all these curves. And now just choose Kavilo command. And again, you can choose any setting you want from the option bar. Okay, now let's apply symmetry on it. And let's cut this component and paste into the one of the previous component. And now you have to create a rectangle which is like this and subdivide into four phases and make a component from it. Now we need to adjust the vertex, so use the vertex tool and change the soft selection to zero and adjust all these vertex the way you want. Okay, now let's use the rotate tool to rotate this. And let's rotate this about 25 degree. And now we need to mirror this to the other side, I mean the right side. So use the mirror tool from the GHS power bar. Okay, now let's uh, create a group from this. And click on to get subdivision on off. Now get into this group. Uh, we need to add crease at this top end point, I mean top vertex and increase this up to 1 or oh, 0.85 is enough and let's click on this vertex and let's increase the crease okay now select this and increase the subdivision level if you are not satisfied with the result you can adjust this vertex anytime so take your time to do it now let's move this to its square location. And now select this. Uh, we need to create a ray from this. Use the rotate command. And let's uh, rotate this component from this point to this point. Okay, now let's type uh, 11x. Okay, we got it. Now you can add some additional component and landscape design in this model. It is up to you. You can take your time to do it. And now let's use the Fredo Join Push Pull tool to apply some thickness on the services. So first step, select all these services. And let's use this second tool. And click on the surface and move the mouse our direction. And now let's type the offset distance. You can use any offset distance you want. And now click on the empty space to confirm it.
And now click on the empty space one more time. Okay, now let's do the same to the other faces. So that's all guys, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe my channel.